that's exactly what half of engineers today roughly are doing with chat GPT. How many, okay, let me tell you a story. Imagine, imagine that you're sitting, you're, you, you, you're a programmer and you've got some work to do and your boss comes to you and says, we brought you a new intern, all right? And this intern is going to pair program with you. They don't know our systems very well, so you're going to have to bring the context to them and get them up to speed, but they can work all day long. Here you go. Have fun. And what a lot of people do is what I did with operator. I try one thing and it fails and then I'm like, screw it. So we, let's imagine you go to this intern and say, all right, before we get started, I'm going to give you a little test. And then you give the intern a project to do. And then they don't do the project very well. And you say, this is garbage. I can't use this person. This isn't going to work out. Okay. Who does that? Nobody does that. That would be stupid, right? But that's exactly what half of engineers today roughly are doing with chat GPT. They try one thing and they go, it got it wrong. It's dumb, <laughs> right? This is a problem. You can't do this, right? What you have to do is you have to use iteration and you have to use prompting and a bunch of other techniques that I'm not going to talk about today. I don't want to bore you to death.